Right then guys, welcome back to Dolphin Golfing. I hope the microphone's all right. This is my first time uh, with the new microphone. It is a very windy day here at Tinsley, but we're doing a golf ball versus. We're gonna do the Kirkland Signature versus the Titleist Pro V1. This is the Costco ball. I'm sure you guys know a lot about this golf ball. This is quite affordable and a lot of people are saying it's like a Pro V1. That's why I'm going to put it up against this. If you do want to see the Kirkland Signature or Titleist Pro V1 versus any other golf balls, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, do all that good stuff. And we're going to, uh, I think we'll hit the Kirkland Signature first and then we'll hit the Titleist Pro V1. Now I am hitting four golf balls just so it's a fair test because I'm not swinging great today. Uh, and also, what's a bit different about this one, we're on the par four here at Tinsley, so we're gonna play a full hole with these golf balls. I'm gonna look for things like distance, feel. I don't have any launch monitors at the minute, but I am looking to get one in the near future so I can give you guys some stats and things like that, so please bear with on that one. So yeah, let's get into this. First, Kirkland Signature. That is a lovely shot. Straight down the middle. Lovely. Absolutely lovely draw again. That was absolutely ripped. And that is, yeah, I could tell that's the furthest one. Uh, a lot of people, I think, said this golf ball feels soft. I know people I've spoke to uh, said this golf ball feels soft. I feel like it feels a little bit firm. I've just left the face a little bit open on that one and it's just faded a little bit. But again, nice shot. So what are my opinions on the Kirkland Signature? You'll have to bear with, I'm right into the sun, that's why I'm squinting. But yeah, Kirkland Signature, nice golf ball, nice little flight on it, like it's a nice low flight with a six iron. Um, it does feel firm, I wouldn't say it feels soft at all. So we're gonna use now the most famous golf ball ever, the Titleist Pro V1 and then we'll get down there and look where the shots have gone. Let's see which has gone the furthest. Hopefully we can hit some nice shots as well with the Pro V1. Oh, that was a lovely shot. Really nice, that one. That has gone miles. Again, a little fady cut. That should be interesting because that was a similar shot to the other Kirkland Signature. Ah, I did fat that one. <laughs> Worst one. At Worst one at lot, fatted it, pulled it left. Oh yes, that were lovely. Absolutely lovely. Pulled that one out of the bag for you guys there. That has gone miles as well. Interesting, very interesting guys. So what I got from them shots, the, the Titleist Pro V1, I could just see it by eyeballing it. The Titleist Pro V1 went further. So we're gonna walk down there and we're gonna see like I said, which one has uh, done the best. I feel like the Titleist Pro V1 felt softer and the Kirkland felt firmer. So let's get down there and let's go and have a look. So looking at these array of balls, um, it's an interesting result, guys, here. I don't know if you guys can see them coming into frame, but these are the two little cutty ones and these were all the beauties that I hit. Right, first of all, as you guys can probably see, is the fat pull shot. So in terms of yardage, like it nearly did as good as the Kirkland Signatures because some of these here are the Kirkland Signatures. This was the Titleist Pro V. As I said, I did uh, pull fat that one, so it was a bit iffy of a shot. So this is an interesting one. We've got one there. We've got one right over there. And then we've got one there and two here. But we're going to go to these little fady cuts and we're going to see which one has gone further. Honestly, I think Pro V1 for distance, absolutely brilliant. So, I know this is not a lot, but these were both fady cuts. We have the Kirkland Signature, which I'm, I'm going to pick these ones up, guys. And then the Titleist Pro V1. So, as you can see, I'm not going to... Um, move these because I'm going to take these shots. So this is a Kirkland Signature and then this is also, I don't know if you guys can see that, but a Kirkland Signature. Now a, we've got a Pro V1, Pro V1 and a Pro V1. That guys 
I know it's not a lot of yardage, but it's there in it. And these Pro V, and this were a six iron, and I've literally hit one all the way up there, and the green is like only there. That is mental how much further they've gone. So I'm gonna probably hit like a wedge shot into here. I don't really have a club for this. It might be a pitching wedge, and we'll see how this feels approaching into the green. We downwind, it might go just a little bit long. Yeah, it's a nice, it's got a lovely feel off the face. And I'm just gonna grip down on this one just by looking at what that one did. And um, yeah, like I said, nice golf ball. Really nice golf ball, in fact. That is on the flag if that's got the yardage. Oh my God, it's actually a bit long. I'm, li I'm liking the Kirkland signatures, guys. They are good golf balls. Don't get me wrong, but I'd just rather have a Titleist Pro V1. I just think they're a lot better, but they're decent for what they are. If you ever find you in Costco, I'd definitely uh, pick up a pack and try them. And for the price, I think they're like 20 some quid for a dozen. So not bad results then. Again, we'll go up to the green and we'll uh, see how they're done. And then we'll hit two Titleist Pro V1s because we've hit two Kirkland signatures. That is an absolute, Lovely strike, the wind's getting that a bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll get my divot, guys. There we are, always repair your divots. Right, so we're gonna go to this last Pro V1. We're gonna hit this, and then we're gonna see what results I've got now. These honestly have been a better yardage for me, whereas the Kirkland signatures were in sort of that iffy range. I'm gonna grip down a bit on this 52 because the wind is howling into let's see if we can try and get a nice one. Oh yeah it's lovely that is lovely sit oh my god that could be very close we've peppered the green with the pro v ones i mean the pro v ones brilliant don't get me wrong the kirkland signature we're fine it would just um I had to play a bit of a short pitching wedge. Yeah, two absolute belting strikes here. I will repair my pitch mark, by the way. Uh, there's one Kirkland signature down here. I may have flown the other one. I'm not too sure. I think I've actually flown the other one, which is not the Kirkland. Oh, it's actually, it's on the path. Yeah, I absolutely ripped it past. The wind just took it. But nevertheless, it's still not a bad shot. And then, like I said, we've got, um, two Titleist Pro V1s. I'm going to pick up that Kirtland signature. Shall we, sorry for the sunlight guys, it's bloody strong that, shall we see if we can have any of these for birdie? Have, have I left that short? Oh, <laughs> nearly a birdie. Right, can we drain this one? Let's see. I've left that short. <laughs> They may be a good golf ball, guys, but they can't stop you from uh, from bad putting, can they? Oh my God, lit. Let's see if we can drain this one. Just nice, confident. Yep. Ah. Right, so to sum up this video, the Titleist Pro V1 for me uh, beat the Kirkland Signature. I wouldn't say it battered it, but it's definitely a better golf ball. I just find you get better distance. Not by a crazy amount, but you will find you get better distance with the Titleist Pro V1 than the Kirkland Signature. Now, this is a very good golf ball. It's not to say it's bad. It looks nice. It's a nice, slick look. And to say that Kirkland Signature make tomato sauce and baby wipes and things like that, it's actually a pretty good golf ball. I personally don't like the feel of this golf ball. To me, it feels a bit firm, whereas the Pro V1 feels nice and soft and it just feels lovely off the face. And when you catch one, it's just, it's just amazing. So for that reason, the winner is a Titleist Pro V1. I will be versing the Pro V1 against the Shrix and Softfield as well, and other golf balls. Same goes for the Kirkland Signature. Uh, we'll put this up against other golf balls and see whether we find that this beats some other golf balls and all that good stuff. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry if you can hear a lot of wind. Hopefully my microphone will like sort of muffle the sound out. It is a very wintry day here. Uh, I, I do hope you enjoyed this versus golf ball. Let me know in the comments below 
what golf ball versus you guys want to see next and i'll be more than happy to do them also don't forget to do the usuals like share and subscribe it really does help me out let's grow the channel and i will see you people in the next video goodbye